okay an impromptu live to just talk about what exactly is authority because I talk about authority a lot and I had a huge discussion with my sister yesterday and she told me something that literally just blew my mind and she was like oh authority is just like manifestation you just believe that you are an authority and you become an authority right and I was like you cannot be more wrong and I want to hi I, I want to tell you that there are a lot of things so I want to tell you one thing okay there my sister she came to me because she knows that I talk about authority a lot but the thing is that she went through someone else's content and she was like she talked about authority and I not know that you talk about authority a lot so teach me what it is right and she told me and um, <laughs> that this literally just blew my mind she was like it's just like manifestation you just believe that you are an authority and you become an authority that is not true <laughs> the thing is that it's about more than that it's about uh, having an identity because you are asking your audience to sell to buy from you right you're selling to them and now when you're actually selling to them you're actually indirectly asking them to trust in you to believe in you right now the authority piece is more about believing in yourself first having that identity of yourself that you are an authority first taking that step first before asking your audience to believe in you to trust in you because people will only buy from you you are selling right you are selling if you're a business you are selling so people will only buy from you when you are when they actually trust in you that you are an authority that they trust in you that you know your stuff that is when they will buy from you otherwise why would they even buy right so you are actually indirectly asking them to trust in you to believe in you that you know this stuff and now to give you money and get your stuff get your information whatever you have whatever you're selling right now that if you don't believe in yourself first that I am an authority how can you ask your audience to trust in you right that is the whole piece that is the thing like having that identity first that you know your thing that you are an authority if you're still in that mindset if you're still struggling if you're still in that mindset that I need to learn I need to learn I'm still learning and you're looking out for answers outside that is a non authoritative thought if you're still learning from other people, if you're still looking out for answers from other people in your industry, you're still in the student mindset. And that is self-sabotaging your authority. That is the biggest piece. So you want to learn why and how to actually believe in yourself that you are an authority. If you're still learning, you're in the student mindset and that is not an authoritative thought. If you're still like, I need to learn more, I need to learn more, you'll keep learning and you wouldn't be able to go out strongly and sell your stuff strongly because you can have that high conviction while going out strongly. People can actually smell this from a distance. When you are selling, I know that a lot of people just sell for the sake of selling and then because they know that I need to sell every single day or I need to sell a few times, right? So they go out, they sell. But then in the back end, they are just looking out for the same answers that they already know the answers for. That is non-authoritative actions. If you are still looking out for answers to questions in the back end and you're selling up front to your audience asking them to believe in you this is literally just a thought this is literally a non authoritative action you don't want to take like all, both of these actions are counter inter counterproductive because you are selling you are asking your audience to believe in you that I'm an expert you should learn from me and on the back end you are like I still am learning the same things that I am trying to sell right and when you are having these when you're having this literally this is self-sabotaging your results because when you are selling you cannot 
sell with that much confidence, with that much certainty that I know that this will work for you 100% of the time? Do you have that much certainty when you are going out to sell your offers? People can smell this. People can smell this whole thing, whether you are certain or not. People need to see two things before they are ready to buy from you. One is your confidence. You've heard people see the transfer of confidence, right? Second thing is they can, they need to see that you are certain that this will work for them 100% of the time. Are you showing that certainty through the energy in which you are selling? Through the energy with which you are selling? Do you, are you showing that certainty? You wouldn't have this certainty until you yourself believe in yourself that I am an authority. So authority is not about like, I'll just think that I am an authority and I'll become an authority. Not that, not in that way that I'm a, you are trying to manifest something, but it is about that identity piece that you now identify yourself as an authority. Okay, so that is what I wanted to make sure that people know about this because if my sister, she doesn't follow me so closely, but if my sister is having this problem with what is authority, because I teach, I talk about authority a lot, right? I want to make sure that my audience knows what authority is exactly, right? So I want to talk about a few things. There's a lot of things that come into authority. How do you manage your imposter syndrome? When you feel like I'm not an authority, that, that is something that I teach inside my authority training. So how do you manage your imposter syndrome that I'm not good enough, I'm not an expert? How do you manage that while also holding space for your clients? How do you manage when you yourself are struggling with your own results and yet hold space for your clients to bring them the results and yet be able to sell to your audience? when you yourself are struggling with your own results. This is something, authority is something that I know that if you, if I have a program, I'll tell you one thing, this is, this is very important, that if you're selling something, you should have that authority piece. So in all of my programs, if you go through my story sales, if you go through my The Client's Accelerator program, you will see that I teach the strategies that come with authority. So I'll teach you these strategies. There are a lot of strategies that I teach for authority. Like these are the practical steps that you can take in order to show up as an authority, right? But even with that, I've seen my clients struggle with the mindset part, which is why inside authority, I actually teach the whole mindset thing. We go into mindset a lot, which is why the self-sabotaging thoughts, the imposter syndrome, the I'm not good enough, I'm not an expert. And when you are actually, this is the huge, this is the biggest thing that I see a lot of people having, literally feeling like, okay, I'm not getting results right now. How can I sell? Or how can I teach that thing to my clients? And you get into that. This is a self-sabotaging thought. This is a non-authoritative thought. And inside authority, I teach you the difference between what, what are the authority thoughts that you need to have and what are the non-authoritative thoughts that will keep you stuck. This is really important because you need to have that conviction, that certainty in yourself that I know my stuff. Getting out of that student mindset, it's high time if you've been in business for a while and you've learned a lot already, you've gone through a lot of stuff and now you're out to become an author, you're out to sell uh, on the same thing, it's high time that you stop being in that student mindset and start calling yourself as an authority, not just to people but also to yourself, that's the identity piece, right? So. Here are a few things that I want to talk about that if you feel like any of these things, these are the signs that you are not feeling like an authority. You still have that non-authoritative thoughts, right? So if you still look out for content inspiration from big influencers, so you don't, you don't feel like you have your own content ideas, but you don't feel like I should be looking, I should be, I can be sharing my own thoughts. So you still look out for content inspiration from other influencers in your industry. And you're like, if she is sharing that, I should be sharing that because it's working for her. And you're not sharing your own content ideas. That is non-authoritative action. Next is you still look out for the right opinions. 
So you're afraid to actually share your own opinions. You still look out for the right opinions. This is what I should be sharing. You look out for what opinions other influencers in your industry are sharing and I should be sharing the same opinions, right? I should be in the same uh, same words with what your influence, your big influencers are sharing so that I don't say something wrong, right? You try to people please. You have your own content ideas but you still try to people please. You're like, I want to... I want to share this but I know that if I share this, my audience some of my audience will be pissed off. So you just don't share it at all because you are people pleasing. That is a non-authoritative action. You still doubt that your offer will work for your audience. It will work for your clients. You still doubt that. That is the biggest thing. Also, you doubt that your audience doesn't love you. You're, you doubt that they are indifferent or you doubt that they are watching but they are lurkers, that they don't care about whatever you are selling, if whatever you are selling, whatever you are teaching, whatever you are saying, they are listening, but they are just listening, you know, that is also a non authoritative thought. You still rate your content. This is huge. You still rate your content through the lens of the engagement that the post gets. This is huge because do you actually believe that your content is so mind blowing that even if just one person goes through it, it has the capability to change their life or business, whatever your niche is, forever. Do you believe that? And if you believe in that for your content, no matter what engagement you have, because engagement is very, I would say it's very different for different people. If you have low following, if you are engaging, like it is, it is very subjective. So do you actually believe that this content that I'm sharing is so mind blowing. It has the capability to change my audience's lives if they go through it. That's that's it. That's all you need. You don't need to rate your content through the lens of the engagement that that content is getting. Next is, are you sharing your own opinions without checking with your audience with with the big influencers? Are you sharing your own opinions? Hi. Are you afraid to say the wrong things? This is huge because you're like, okay, there's something, there's someone who is sharing, your your big influencers are sharing something and you're like, okay, I should be sharing the same thing and I shouldn't share my own opinions. Are you afraid to say the wrong things? That is huge. Are you people pleasing? Are you afraid to say the wrong things? Are you sharing your own opinions? Do you believe that your content is mind blowing? All of this is important. All of this is what you need in order to believe that you are an authority. I just wanted to do this quick live to show you all of the things that are important to understand about authority because I talk about authority a lot and if my sister is saying this is what authority is. It's just manifestation thing. I'm sure that a lot of people still think, <laughs> still have doubts about what authority is exactly. So I wanted to talk about what authority is exactly. And it's not the manifestation thing. It's about believing in yourself first. Having that identity with yourself, not just saying that I'm an authority, but being that authority, taking the actions, not just in front of your audience, but also in the back end, the actions you are taking, the thoughts that you have. That is what the whole authority piece, authority piece is. Okay, so thank you so much for showing up over here to everyone. And I'll just share the replay of this live and see you next time. Bye.